In this video, we're going to learn how to select a column in R. Now, selecting columns is one of the most basic operations you can do in R, and it's something you're going to be doing all the time, so it's good to learn how to do it and how to learn a few different ways of doing it. So we're just going to start by loading in a data set and looking at it. So we have a data frame here that we're going to get a column out of. Let's see if we can get this MPG column. So the easiest and quickest way to get and select a column in R is just to say the name of the data frame, dollar sign, that's the selector character, and then the name of the column. So our data set we call data, and then dollar mpg will get us the mpg column. So if I run that, we have all the values in that column. Now you can also select columns using square bracket indexing. And to do that, you just say the name of the data frame, and then within the square brackets, you put the name of the column, but within a quoted string. So using this bracket notation with a quoted string will allow us to get a column even if it has a space in the name. Now you can also select multiple columns at the same time using a similar construction. You just have to pass in a vector of the different column names. So we'll show how to do that. I'll comment this out and uncomment this. So if we wanted to get multiple columns, we just do the same thing say the name of the data frame inside the square brackets. Now we're going to pass a vector of column names instead of just one. So the vector constructor is C and then in parentheses, a comma separated list of the columns. So we're going to get the MPG column, comma, the space call column that we got before. And now we're going to extract both of those at the same time instead of just only one. Now, a final thing to note is that if you are working with the tidyverse package in R or the dplyr package, which comes in the tidyverse, you can use the select function to get columns instead of those other constructions if you want to. So one way we could do that is say data, that's our data frame, we use this pipe operator to pass the data to the next function. The next function is going to be select. And then within select, we can just pass it a comma separated list of the columns we want. And you can use either the column names or quoted column names, either one will work. So we're gonna say MPG is the quickest way to write that first column, but our space column, well, we need to quote, use a quoted string for that because there's a space in it. And this will also allow us to select both of those columns at the same time. If you found this video useful, you can drop a like or hit subscribe, and thanks for watching.